Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Avi. So today I'm going to be doing a little short guide real quick because I know a lot of you guys want to stream, but you guys don't know how to actually go upon it or what software to use. Um, I'm going to have everything down in the description. Hopefully, like, I can remember everything. I mean, I'm running on about a couple hours of sleep. I did just do, like, a 19-hour sh uh, stream. You guys should go check it out over at Twitch. But today I'm going to be showing you guys what software you guys should use in the other softwares. I personally I personally use Streamlabs as you can see. I'm using to the version 019.4. I really like Streamlabs because Hair Streamlabs is very it's it's very it's like it's, it's fucking dope. First off, so we're going to get into what Streamlabs sh um, shit, I can't even show hold on. Let me see. So Streamlabs is pretty easy to use. It's actually very, like, it's very, very simple. Um, I want to show you guys on, this is my RuneScape one. I think I could delete everything. Hold on. Let me see. I'm going to delete everything so I can show you guys how to actually go upon what stream may look like. Hold on. So... We're just deleting everything, because like I said, I want to show you guys from scratch. Alright. So as of right now, there's only two things showing, and that's my webcam and my window capture. That's here, right here. You want If you want to change it, you, double, you go and double click it. Click something that you're trying to stream. For instance, if I was trying to stream League of Legends, there would be a tab that pops up. It's going to say... I want to I want to see if you guys I want to try and show you guys what I'm what I'm doing. All right, maybe I need to add two scenes. All right, unfortunately, I can't show you what I actually wanted to show you. Um, hold on. So, let me see. Window capture. It shows for a second, but it doesn't doesn't want to show, and I don't know why. But All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work with what I have a little bit. So you see how this says window capture? You're gonna have two different options. There's gonna be a window capture, and then there's gonna be a capture game. Sometimes a capture game is for like capturing full screen games like Legion Legends, Art, all of that other stuff that has open a different client. And then your window capture is going to specifically capture what's on the side of your window. Um, let's see if we can get back to what I really wanted to do. So let's go back to OBS. Boom. Right there. We need to uh, fix that a little bit. Actually, I have two scenes. So I kind of want to I want to delete one of them. Actually, this one's pretty easy to move. So we're going to do that. Boom. Delete this one because we don't actually need it. So... Another way, uh, damn, you guys really can't, let me see, alright, so, back to what I was saying, so you want to click this little gear option here, and then it's going to start with, off with your general stream, you want to go to the stream, and then you want to link your, um, your stream, so whatever you want to stream to, like right now I'm currently streaming to Twitch, and streaming to Facebook. So the way you go upon the streaming, you have to get your key, your um, your stream key. Let me see if I can find that for you real quick. Show you guys what it should look like. Hopefully without showing you guys my stream key because that'd be pretty bad. All right. Um, Windows capture. Boom.
All right. Well, for some reason, my Windows captures never want to open up. So I got to figure, I actually have to toy around with this because it's been bothering me lately. Hmm. That's not going to work. So we're going to keep playing around with it until we can get it to work. Would it be? No. All right. I can't really show you, but there's other videos that can also show you. But like I was saying before, I'm just going to show you guys how to quickly set up. I'm actually going to turn this off because I feel like you guys can't see. So over here, this controls your desktop volume. So it controls everything that's coming through your t like your through your computer or your system, whatever you're streaming on. This is going to be the control of volume of like the music, the audio gameplay. This obviously records your mic, how low, how high you're going to sound. I usually like to balance it out between here and there. Then you have your sceneries over here. This, These two right here, these will allow you to switch to start stream, to end stream, intermission like I have over here. My main for when I'm actually inside of game. Sometimes I actually have to throw my camera up here depending on the game I'm playing. I might actually delete that, but... Then I have the BRB stream. Um, there's a lot of things that actually, that's going to, like, when you first join in, there's these things where you can actually go in and it will import a, a scenery for you. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining that the right way, but this is it's pretty dope. It's like, so you see how I had that tech, like how I have my texture pack my texture maps or whatever texture packs or whatever you want to call them um you can get that as well just like me all you have to do is just click the little shop let me see whoa my computer is a little buggy right now it's, it's a little laggy all right so i'm gonna go back to here i want to say you go here to be honest yeah, so you want to come over to this little ruler thingy with the, it's going to say themes. You do not have to sign up. You do not at all. There's actually free ones that you can use. So you go over here, you just find one that you kind of like, and it's going to replace all your folders and everything free, so don't panic when that does happen. Um, but back to adding everything that I feel like are essentials and what you need. I always feel like you should have an alert box which kind of pops up and tell you when someone's streaming, like when someone followed you. For instance, I'm going to just do a follow. Oh, See, yeah. That is one of my, um, that's one of my notifications that let me know that someone followed me. Then there's the chat box. Chat box is actually pretty important, I feel like, because everybody loves to see what they're typing. So let me see if I can actually, let's see if this will work, test. You see it pops over there. Well, it, I mean, this won't be on there, but you know, you can see it on the side of the stream. You can move it wherever you want to move it to, All right? And then we're going to, let's see, let's see. I'm going to actually, we're going to hide this. Oh, so also I forgot when you click this little eye thing, it's actually to uh, cover up whatever you're like, whatever you don't want to show. For instance, like I wanted to turn my camera off, so I would go here, click the little eyeball. This little lock thing doesn't. Oh, actually, I'm not sure what this lock button does, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to either let you not either fuse items together like that, or I, I could have sworn it, it used to not make it move anywhere. But um, we're going to turn that back on because we're actually I'm going to take this and throw this. It's a little still tricky trying to grab everything. So bear with me. What the hell? Ah. Yeah, no, I was right. So 
this little lock icon, it doesn't allow you to actually move move it. So I was right, you can move it still down here, but you can't move it around the screen. So I'm going to take that back off. So I feel like that is the most important thing as well, the, the camera, the chat box, the alert box. And then we have our, let's see, we have the jar. I mean, I don't, most people don't really like to play around with the jar until they get bigger with the um with their streams but i'm actually rocking the santa one because why not it was christmas so you have that right there like i said before you can always move it anywhere and just like i was saying before when you have the alert this alert box right here it will alert for everything even your bits you see your bits falling down i became this is the um test Bit alert, boom, drop there. Donation, come up right there. Subscribers, boom. You can't really see it because my camera is blocking everything. So we're gonna turn that back off. But I really wanted to get into the settings because for you to be able to start streaming, I think you need to go to. See, I haven't had to do this in so long. I want to say, yeah, you go to stream, you click on what you want to stream on. Like I said before, I automatically stream to uh, automatically stream to Twitch and Facebook. And then you have your general stuff. Like you can show all your data, chalk, like all that bullshit, you know. So, I mean, like, it's, it's fairly easy to actually stream. It's just you have to find out what software you like the most. Me, like I said, I personally like. I like I I like Streamlab. I started off with XSplit. I didn't really like XSplit because they started trying to make you pay for things. And then I went to OBS. OBS was my first my first thing that I started using. But then they merged over with Streamlabs, which was actually pretty nice. Cause like I said, it it made everything so easy. But I really wanted to show you guys how to find your stream key. But I guess I'm gonna just have to try and walk you guys through it. Or I'm gonna just sit here and play around with my um with everything. Let's see. Maybe Windows captures again. As seen, we'll double click this one because this is a repeat. Oh, well, I mean, I can show you now, actually, for one of them, because it wasn't working before. So when you actually double-click on one of the uh, window captures or game captures, it's going to show something like this. These are everything that your computer wants you to broadcast. Or you can click this. I really don't know what's the difference. Window titles must match. Um, match title, otherwise, in, uh, find, full screen, uh, find windows of the same type. Match, otherwise, find... You know, they say, you know, so I click this one. Um, I'm actually trying to go to Google Chrome. But for some reason, doesn't want to let me do it. So I'm actually going to try something real quick. This is actually a test for me. See, this is why I actually like the old OBS because with the old OBS, I didn't actually have to worry about this. I could have just hit capture uh, desktop or whatever. They don't actually have that here, which is a little, little sad. What is scenes? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, no. See, I don't want to add a scene. I want to add something else. I wanna... What about if I do... Boom. What if I do this? That still doesn't even work. Alright. Hmm. 
Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to try and walk you guys through it, because I really can't figure it out. So you can either do this in both ways. Um, you can either do it through Streamlabs, which like I said, I'm going to have everything linked into the description and down below. Um, but what I was going to say, so I got 29 followers today. Holy shit, that's pretty, pretty fucking great. So I would like you, yeah, for you to get your stream key. You have to, shit, I can't even remember this part, because like I said, I haven't done this in so long that I completely never really had to do it again after I did it once or twice. But, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be making a video if I don't know how to actually fully do it, right? <laughs> um, settings, no. Alright, so I'm going to just go through twitch.tv, I'm going to click my icon up at the top, then I'm going to go to my channel. So you're going to do this all on twitch.tv, you go to your channel, or you go to your settings, sorry, you go to settings, and then it's going to say channel and video, and then it's going to say stream key and prefer uh, preferences, there's going to be a, um, actually, you know what, I, I can actually screenshot this right and then because look when when you can't figure something out you got to get innovative you, you know you gotta you just gotta make shit happen you gotta make shit work yourself all right so now image all right I don't want that I want something I want to add something different so back that out I wonder does this work control copy I really hope this doesn't paste my uh let's see no it didn't so we're actually gonna have to do a couple things real quick I really wanted this to be a quick and simple simple thing but eh, when when it's not working with you it's not gonna fucking it's not gonna go your way Sorry, my computer's running slow because I have a couple of things downloading right now. I have two, three videos being downloaded actually currently as we speak. So we're going to just send this to, we're going to send this picture to ourselves so that way I can show you guys exactly what I'm trying to do here. Because hopefully this works. It didn't. All right, so I'm going to do this again. Go down here. This is a lot. All right, so... So like I was saying before, you go to your, you click this little icon up here. I'm going to copy and paste this again. Send this to myself. So then once you click, once you click your icon, you're going to go to your settings down at the bottom. And then you're going to go to channel and video. Right? Channel and video right here. I'm going to hover over it so that way you guys can see it. It's crazy that I can't fucking show you guys in a video. But. Got to make do what you got. Right? Boom. Alright, now we're going to open this back up. We're going to actually add some images on our, these are on our desktop open done so when you get to your um 
when you get to your your settings you can't I can't zoom in anymore can I let's see so when you get to your settings from going here you click your little icon here it's gonna drop down there's gonna be settings here then you're gonna go to channel and videos like I was saying before we're gonna delete this one and then we're gonna open something else up then you're gonna get a little oh, no I don't want to go live actually <laughs> you're gonna get a little why does that happen oh because I never changed it so you're gonna get something that looks like this pops up when you go to your videos and settings like I said before it's gonna say stream and um, key preferences this right here this is your primary sh uh, stream key do not sh uh, when I mean cannot stress it out do not share with anybody that's why I'm actually not showing mine but there's actually a way to once you click show you can hit control all I mean control a a copy I mean control a and then control C which is gonna copy and paste it so when you get that you're going to actually head over we're gonna delete this again because this shit is pissing me off you're gonna actually come back to your let's see if I can get this to work now without a problem nope All right, there we go. So, like I was saying before, once you get it, you're gonna go here. I'm gonna actually have to do another picture for you, but because I'm not sure if this pops up, let's try it again. No, nope, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna just do it the old-fashioned way but I was just doing it so you're gonna get a picture of something like this one minute add image Boom. no I don't need that I need I forgot to actually send this picture to myself I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for this video. I'm mean, not this video. Wow. I don't know why I keep saying video. But, like I was saying before, you're going to get something that's going to pop up that looks like this. The moment I get it to work, boom, open that. So, we're here. You're going to go to, let me see. You want to go to the you want to go to your settings your general settings and it's going to say stream you're going to go to the stream option here let me see if I can show you guys a little bit better so you're going to go to here stream then you're going to be prompted with something that's going to look like this Mine is gonna look different because I'm already I'm already you know with Twitch and everything like I already done all this so I'm not gonna actually deactivate my account just to show you guys I'm sorry well not deactivate but not yeah kind of kind of like deactivate I'm not going to undo what I did to show you real quick because I don't know if that's gonna interfere with any of my progress which I don't think it will but you're gonna get a little you're gonna get something that's going to look like this. Once again, guys, I'm sorry that this is happening like this. This is the only way I can really show you guys. Oh, I think I pulled up the wrong one. 
Did I ever drag it over? I did. Alright, so... I want to say sesame. Ah, there we go. So it's going to say it's going to be it's going to come up as this right here. Boom. You have the options to stream to whatever the whatever you want. It could be Mixer, it could be Twitch, it could be YouTube, literally anything you want. Once you get that stream key, you're going to put it in here somewhere. Like I said, I'm I really want to say it's either between streams here or output. I don't think it is output, but I'm just going to throw that out there. You may have to click around a bit to figure out where you actually put your stream key because, like I said, I haven't really done it in so long that I can't really give you exactly where to go. My computer is also running low, so we're going to actually have to make this quick. But um, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I really need to tell you guys. But if you need more like you know need more help you guys can always ask me I'm always streaming now I gotta fix my all my scenes because I kinda messed up my scene but that's pretty much how you get started oh also but when you do wanna go live you're gonna be you're gonna click go live set up two uh, I have I have different options I don't know if you guys can see these but you click this little button right here to go live this is to go to record like if you can't record I mean if you can't go live you know, you have that option to, oh, whoa, <laughs> you have that option to record your games. You know, I've, I've, I'm actually very fortunate that I can record. And then you have options also to tell you how your stream is running. This side third down here at the bottom. Um, I'm actually not sure what this is. Uh, I really don't want to test it. But, you know, we're not going to do that today. I just clicked something. I kind of wanted to see what it was. What is this? Switch to new. Switch to new event view. Mini feed. So these. This is also. This is going to tell you. Uh, your recent events. So this just tells me all my followers and subscribers that I had throughout the day or throughout the week, throughout the years. Giveaways. This would tell you how many giveaways you have done. I don't think I've done any giveaways. Uh, live actions, these are for like your spin wheels, you know, your credit stream, jars, all of that. Oh, there, I never even knew that. I can empty my jar right here just by doing that. Jar settings, that takes you somewhere else. But this has been a 28 minute video that was not really trying to make it this long, guys. Um, if you found it helpful, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button and comment and tell me where I messed up at if I lost you guys at any given point please point it out and I'm gonna try and make a better video I promise you I'll get better at doing these guys because I'm still new so please don't be mad at me if I gave you some little rough edges you know to deal with but like I was saying before I really feel like the best place to start off at for streaming is Streamlabs it's so e literally it's super easy to set up like so easy but once again guys thank you hit that like button subscribe button and share that shit don't forget hit that bell button so you guys know when i'm posted and when i'm actually live also i'm going to be showing you guys how to um one of these days i'm going to show you how to actually link your twitch to your youtube so whenever you you're live there will be a little banner that tells other people that you're live at that moment so that way they can click on that and find you on twitch as well so I'm, i have a lot of things coming for you guys so you guys better hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned i'm going to be trying to get as many people to sh uh, stream out there even though it's already starting to get killed because all these new people are starting to stream but i really feel like if you enjoy gaming like i do and you just want to have fun and just show everyone else that you want to have fun it's, it's a great thing to do you know it's, it's a time killer. It's a great hobby to pick up on, you know, but like I said before guys Don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button and comment most important and hit that bell So you guys know when I'm dropping new videos peace